Venezuela is the land of the tepuis and of exotic beaches. But inland there is another treasure of nature, still largely undiscovered. The basin of the Orinoco, lying between the Andes to the west, the coastal mountain range to the north, and the Guiana Massif to the southeast. It is so completely flat that it has been named the region of the plains. Almost all the rains fall in a single season, and so the ecosystem of the plains alternates between extremes of flood and drought. It is a land of contrasts, a little visited paradise of surprisingly rich and varied fauna and flora. The Apure River runs across the plain flanked by thick vegetation. Here, ever alert, lives the wood ibis, also known as the American ibis or forest stork. Every year, they build their nests along the banks of the river and feed on the animals that live in its waters. Thousands of birds of many different species have found on these plains their perfect natural habitat. The Orinoco Basin covers an area of 300,000 square kilometers and its many rivers and marshes provide sufficient food and water to support a great variety of animals. There are, for example, more species of bird here than in the whole of the United States. The soil is poor and the only places trees can really grow is along the banks of the rivers. The thick vegetation here stands in stark contrast to the vast empty spaces beyond. Trees are always a sure sign that a river or stream is nearby. In January, after a year of wandering from the Orinoco Basin down to the Amazon in search of good land, the ibises stop to build their nests. Once they have found a suitable tree, the pairs of birds take just a few days to build their nests, in which they will incubate from two to five eggs. They prefer the small islands in the rivers or trees right by the riverbank, with trunks going straight down into the water. Here, the ibises are safe from the land predators and can hatch their young in relative peace. Both parents share the task of looking after the chicks, taking it in turns to fish, so they are never left alone. Like its close relative, the Indian ibis, their fishing tactics rely on the sensitivity of their beaks which means they can detect fish without seeing them. This is an invaluable skill here in the plains, where many of the waters of the rivers are muddy and the fish are hidden. The largest freshwater turtles in the world, the Arauz, don't share the ibis's paternal instincts. Once they have laid between 60 and 100 eggs in a hole dug in the ground, the parents consider their job done and pay no further thought to their offspring. That's generally the way with reptiles, with the exception of crocodiles and alligators, as this animal, the caracara, well knows. He is an expert egg thief. A caracara has found the eggs thanks to the urine-soaked earth covering them. Both he and his mate know what is hidden here, and they start digging for their treasure. They've already dug up the first egg. 
Once they have found a store of food, they will keep coming back until not a single egg is left. The turtles are not the only victims of the caracaras. At this time of year, an even greater delicacy is in abundance, the ibis chicks. In the first stages of growth, the chicks are very vulnerable and the caracaras are busy searching for an unprotected nest. This chick is alone and has been spotted by its predators. The first caracara lands close to the nest and looks up searching the sky to make sure the parents are not nearby. Another ibis standing nearby poses no threat. She will only protect her own chicks. Certain that there is no danger, the caracara goes into action. In the water, the alligators and the piranhas wait for something to fall in. Meanwhile, the caracaras calmly devour the chick they have found, while the other ibises stand impassively by. Before the parents return, the predators will have gone back to their nests out on the plains, leaving behind the remains of the chick. It is too heavy for them to carry, but they will come back tomorrow to finish it off, provided no other caracara has got there first.